Welcome in, my name is Sweet Phil and I do super quick DaVinci Resolve tutorials and generally stuff on content creation, straight to the point, no fluff, with the exception of asking you to hit the like button and subscribe up, help out a small YouTube channel like myself right here. Speaking of hitting the like and subscribe button, you ever see those like and subscribe buttons on every single person's video like the one you just seen over here? Well, they're super easy. All you have to do is download a green screen like and subscribe button and this will work for anything that's green screen really whether it's some sort of green screen meme or any type of the green screen video maybe with you with the green screen behind you like i am right here this will work for anything like that instantly you can resize it no black bars around the edge or anything like that the first thing i'm going to do is drag and drop over here the green screen like and subscribe button that i've already downloaded links in the description to a few different examples of this or you can get them from all over the place now as you can see it pops up comes in like subscribe you've seen this one a million times now all you got to do is over here you see my mouse click on open effects come down to 3d gear drag and drop it onto the, the video right here now you come over into the inspector click on effects and what next thing you're going to want to make sure is make sure this is set on open effects it's probably going to be on transform click on open effects now as long as it's on the dropper with the little bullseye in the middle which it usually is automatically you're good to go just go ahead and click or drag around anywhere in the green and it disappears. The next thing I would do is I generally go to matte finesse and clean black. And if you didn't see it, I'm going to drag it over further than you need to. This slider right here, you see how the, the black comes in and all the green goes away. You don't really want to do it that much, but I usually come over to about the same as what the pre-filter is generically set at. Now, the next thing I will do, you see a lot of the green went away. Just go to despill and it turns anything green into like a grayish color and it blends right in with it. So boom, there you go. You're done. I'm going to go ahead and drag this up to a higher track and just stick any picture underneath it or any video that is. I'm just going to go ahead and take a picture of this waterfall right here. Sure, why not? And now you can go ahead and see. You can resize it. You can move it anywhere you want to. And you see it has no issue, no black bars on the edge or anything like that if the video helped out. And don't forget, look at what the button's doing. Like and subscribe to the channel. Help a little channel like me out. Peace out, everyone.